Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are taking a look at the Ever Advanced Screened In Tent. This is a sponsored video. Ever Advanced sent us this tent in exchange for a video review. It comes with a nice zippered carry bag. When we weighed everything all together in the bag, it weighed 18.8 .8 pounds. Ever Advance recommends that two people put up the tent. However, I was able to put it up by myself without too much trouble. The first thing you do is orient the tent where you want it to be and spread it out so you have the corners in place. Then you stake out the four corners. There is one center pole that goes lengthways on top of the tent and it has a long velcro closure that helps secure it in place on the top. On each end of that center pole are T's and these T's slip into two velcro loops on each end. Nice thing about those loops is they give you plenty of room so everything isn't such a snug fit that it makes it difficult to assemble. There are four relatively short poles, two for each side of the roof. Those short poles slide through sleeves on each end of the roof and then they connect into the T. The center pole has a hinged bar that has a sleeve that slips over the end of it to lock it in place. Up until this point, we have had that center pole sleeve unlocked so that we can adjust and get all the T-braces all connected with our end roof poles. Once all the roof poles are in place, you use that little sleeve to lock the center pole into place. Now it's time to raise the roof. There are two legs that lift it up and support it from the ground.
The footprint of this green tent is 13 feet by 9 feet and it is 7 feet tall. The tent has screens on all four sides. It's a nice mesh. It lets plenty of air circulation through while keeping the bugs out. Once the legs are in place and the roof is raised, it's time to stake out the four roof corners of the tent. The two long sides open up with zippers. There are three zippers on each long side, one in the center and two on the bottom. There are tie backs for each door, one on each side. For each of the center zippers, at the very top there is a tab which is very helpful when you're starting to close that zipper. It gives you something to hold on to to pull the zipper pull down. Each zipper has a pull on both the inside and the outside. There is a hook at the top center, which is great for hanging a light. Even though it doesn't have a floor in it, around the bottom of the inside, it has a nice, I guess you could call it like a little threshold. It's five to six inches deep, and that adds a nice stability and strength to the bottom portion of the tent. I really like this green tent. It's a manageable size. There's a good bit of room inside. It feels spacious because the roof is seven feet tall. It gives you plenty of room to walk around and do things without feeling closed in. They say it'll hold eight to 10 people. And while that's possible, uh, realistically, eight would probably be about as many as you'd wanna have in here with either chairs and a table. Um, even more comfortably would be six. But there's plenty of room. There's, and that's not to say you can't get eight to 10 people in here. That said, it's small enough that I could put it up by myself. And it was much less trouble than several other tents that we have. And it's stable. I was really concerned because it only has the two leg poles that it wouldn't have that much stability, but it does. And the screen tent is water resistant. It is not waterproof. Why? Screen. <laughs> the roof will block rainwater. The sides do angle out a little bit beyond past the roof. So if rain comes off the roof, it is probably going to come in through the screened in sides. It's not made to be a shelter in that sense. Let us know what you think in the comments. We'll put product links in the description. And thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.